and I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. I'm gonna show you very, very soon how I accepted his fight publicly to him over DM. And I'm gonna show our conversation and also the conversation between an intermediary because he was running scared like a puss. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. This is gonna be a super, super good video. Make sure you stick around till the end. I'm going to show screenshots between me and Michael Sartain and some screenshots of people communicating between Michael and myself. Okay, I'm gonna show that towards the end. He called me out to a fight. I accepted the fight publicly. Okay, I made a community post about it. I'm accepting it again publicly here on YouTube. I contacted him directly. He ran scared like a little bitch. And all that's going to be detailed in this video. I'm also gonna show all the horrible stuff about this guy and what a huge pussy punk ass bitch he is. Okay, with tons of proof. So we'll try to keep moving quickly, but make sure you stick to the end because I promise it's well worth it. Michael Sartain, the biggest pussy scumbag in the manosphere. Okay, here's the backstory. Michael Sartain is a try-hard fake alpha tough guy loser. He's business partners with Rolo Tomasi, who I've done countless videos on. Rolo is a huge fucking fraud. He's peddling fake statistics. He's plagiarizing people. He admitted to a shitty late count of 40. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, he has a wife in her 60s who looks like Skeletor, and he's just a total dork moron. He needs to fucking give it up. Michael copies David Buss, who's a psychologist. He just steals his ideas. I'll do a whole separate video on that. It's just like Rolo copies Tom Likas, okay, in the SoSwap forums. These guys just fucking rip off people, and the advice that they're ripping off is garbage anyways. He's also a giant pussy-ass bitch, which I'll show plenty of examples of. He's defamed me in countless places. Okay, and that's a separate issue. I'm going to be sending a letter to him via my lawyer next week. And that's because he's made several false statements of fact. Okay, he keeps claiming there's a video of me in bed with like four trannies and he changed it to six trannies. That's a complete fabrication. He's made all kinds of other statements that are completely false. And there's a huge difference between saying negative opinions about someone versus making up false statements of fact. The latter is defamation and has civil consequences. Okay, just like his buddy, Modern Life Dating, as we'll show in a, in a separate slide, has a lawsuit against him in Florida and Japan. I'm about to win in both those places. He peddles snake oil, smoke, and mirrors in the form of social circle game. He tries to demonize cold approach. He says cold approach is 2% of the game. It'll get you thrown in jail. You can't pull from a nightclub. All these ridiculous and nonsensical claims. He photobombs all these pictures just to try to be the cool guy and then pedals off that, oh, all you have to do is just uh, make these fake charities and uh, you know, that you'll get all the, no. no, I've no. talked to a lot of guys, went through his program. They got no fucking results. It's all dog shit. People like told me all about the content. They said it's complete dog shit and a complete waste of money. And they felt completely ripped off. Okay, and he only ever wears black shirts. Even if you go back to pictures over 10 years ago, he only wears black shirts. That's it. <laughs> And I'll do a separate video. He lies publicly. He says he's six foot one. Okay, and these girls that at one of his stupid events that were drunk, they're like, oh, he's not even six foot. And he doesn't even take pictures with guys that are taller than him. And he always wants to take pictures with other guys sitting down. He's such a fucking poser dork. He also associates with all the biggest pieces of shit in the manosphere, including a known rapist who will show in a, a separate slide, this guy, Charleston White. Modern Life Dating, who smashed a bottle over a girl's face in Japan. Jay Waller, who was recently canceled by YouTube. Ty Lopez, who ran a whole bunch of scams, including an NFT. Zerka, who's full of shit and a scammer and says he hates 99% of men and is just trying to rip them off. And Rolo, who also started an NFT, the Red Pill Lions. These guys are all in bed together and it's all fucking disgusting. Fresh and Fit, who I've exposed countless times. Adam Lyons, who says that he closes 100% of the girls that he opens and on and on. And I promise you, you need to stay to the end because I'm gonna go through all the screenshots with Michael. This is a video, it's gonna be really, really juicy. Just watch. So the backstory, his overly plastic troll girlfriend disrespects him publicly. I did a separate video on this. Guys think she's pretty or hot. I promise you, it's just because all the rest of the guys in the space have like below average troll girlfriends. She's way too done up. Without makeup, she'd be a five or six max. It will show in a separate picture. Her boob job has a big gap in the middle. It's called the refund gap. She's like plastic and it, behind closed doors without makeup, it'd be a horror show. Okay, I think she looks like Michael Jackson. <laughs> We'll show a separate meme I made on a different slide. But look at the backstory here of how he gets openly shit on and owned by his girlfriend here. You heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Boom! <laughs> watch him, watch him. Okay, here, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? He's like, babe. <laughs> 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 babe. 
And then later, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Bro, I didn't really care. I didn't even notice. I didn't even tries to claim that he didn't notice that his girl shit all over him publicly, okay? Even though he was like, babe, what are you doing? Babe. I showed in a separate video all about this. And then he gets called out about it in Fresh and Fit. Okay, Myron's like, hey, Michael, uh, did you have a discussion with your girl behind closed doors? And you could tell it was just a pre-prepared response. And she's like, oh, uh, you know, I felt really bad about that. And he's like, yeah, uh, we didn't even notice that it happened. Uh, we had no idea until people started. It's like, motherfucker, that bitch owns you. She shits all over you. Her her voice is low probably because she's using testosterone to keep all her plastic horror show parts into place and you're a fucking joke okay let's continue now here we have <laughs> a little i don't know what i wrote in the background here did you hear it that time michael did you hear that one michael did you hear that one michael okay this is how <laughs> that chick looks quite literally same hair part same fucking horrible plastic surgery and it's funny on multiple levels okay because his name's michael michael jackson is michael his girlfriend looks like michael jackson and <laughs> this is like how she looked in that clip right and she's fucking tooling him i had like seven different <laughs> reasons why this meme was funny and i forgot the rest okay let's keep going here we have him completely owned being led around by a collar like a fucking bitch slave wearing cat ears Okay, at one of his little photobomb events where he's being the cool guy. Okay, he's being led around like a little pussy bitch that he is with cat ears. <laughs> okay, next slide. He hangs with known rapists. Charleston White, who admitted on Fresh and Fit that he's drugged and raped multiple girls. We'll play that clip briefly. I'm going to do a separate video about this okay this guy's a total fucking scumbag piece of shit he was saying that they would literally run trains on white girls after drugging them we used to run trains on white girls uh, uh. <laughs> choo -choo. he admitted that i'm fresh and fit fresh and fit laughed and thought that was cool and that's setting a great example for all the people watching of course okay and as i note here note the refund gap on his overly plastic troll girlfriend that has zero respect for him okay and you can see how he's small here <laughs> But he's taking a picture standing up because Charleston is a little guy too. Okay, and then we have the little meme. Did you hear it that time, Michael? Did you hear that one, Michael? <laughs> And guys think that just because her fucking shitty boob job, she shows cleavage. Look at, that's like one of the shittiest boob jobs I've ever seen. And guys think that just because she shows cleavage, I mean, oh, she must be uh, really attractive, really pretty. No, she's fucking gross. He hangs with scumbag Modern Life Dating. And we're going to get to the screenshots in a second, so stick around. Okay, I'm suing Modern Life Dating in Florida and in Japan. He's a total cocksucker for countless reasons. He defamed me back in 2021. And Judgment Day in court will be coming up in about six months. He stalled for three years. And he's like a rat trapped in a corner. Corner, and I'm hoping to win well over a million dollars in that case. MLD smashed a bottle over a girl's face in Japan and scarred her face. Very nice. Settled out of court. Leaked text also came out where he said he looks forward to seeing girls being raped in the streets while he's sipping a latte. Buddy buddy with his little boy Michael over here. Michael also hangs out with known scammer Ty Lopez. Here we see them featured. He hosts them on his podcast. Coffeezilla has already thoroughly exposed Ty Lopez. Okay, he was peddling NFTs and other various scams. One of the biggest internet marketer scammers out there. Okay, and who else does Ty Lopez hang around with? Shithead Owen Cook, aka RST Tyler. And Sartain used to associate with RST and RST Tyler back in the day as well when RST was around. He also hangs out with piece of shit poser Jay Waller and Fresh and Fit. Okay, Jay Waller was just canceled by YouTube for his predatory role in deceiving and hurting impressionable men as part of the real world by scumbag Andrew Tate, okay, who he's a puppet for. Fresh and Fit have been exposed countless times by myself and by Abba and Preach for lying, being super shady, pretending to be dating gurus, being huge fucking pussies everyone that knows them says they're, says they're like friend zoned by all the girls they're huge pussies they play video games they're just two nerds pretending to be cool on the internet okay because they can flex fake alpha nonsense and kick ghetto trash hood rats off their show michael also hangs out with zirka and adam lyons and, and again stick around because i'm going to show you very very soon how I accepted his fight publicly to him over DM. And I'm going to show our conversation and also the conversation between an intermediary because he was running scared like a puss. Zerka has been exposed countless times for being full of shit and a total moron. And Adam Lyons lies saying he has a 100% close rate on any girl he opens. He also says on this podcast here that he builds businesses and openly discusses how to scam guys for more money. He's like spitballing with Zerka. He's like, yeah, just make your consultations 15 minutes and churn them through. He's like, trust me, I build businesses. And they're openly discussing how to scam men that need help. On air, hosted by Michael and fucking Rolo Shithead Tomasi. 
all these guys are super close and it's all a fucking cesspool of fucking dog shit. Okay, before we get to the rest of this, trust me, it's really juicy coming up right around the corner. If you're having trouble getting matches on Tinder, if you need more phone numbers, more dates, more hookups, we have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. Book a free dating strategy call with the link in the description or pinned comment, and we will explain how we can help you get to all your goals in the dating game, usually within one to two weeks, okay? My stuff works extremely quickly and extremely effectively. We have the best results objectively in the space. Okay, here we go. He also hangs out with Max Tornov, the business scammer. Look at them all, all happy, okay, happy go lucky over here. Max Tornov copied the Balig brothers for making his scam course called Freedom Business Mentoring. The Balig brothers had criminal charges brought against them in Germany. Okay. And he evades taxes by setting up his scam company in Cyprus. I also did a separate video where I revealed from an insider that was part of his whole fucking thing that he was paying girls in Ukraine to be part of lifestyle shoots, just like Jason Capital, who's exposed for doing the same and hiring models on Craigslist. And then he posts that shit on social media and everyone's like, wow, but he was promising them a better life in Germany and Austria. All this shit is so fucking disgusting, and I'm calling all these fuckers out. Before we go into the conversation between me and Michael, I want you guys to see this. Okay, someone said, I think this is about Michael's girlfriend, Michelle. I also think he made a contract with her. This is just someone speculating. Uh, it's their gut feeling because they have never seen any real life chemistry between them. I don't watch Michael's dumb videos, but that's not a surprise at all. Just like when he got fucking tooled by this girl, I've known he's a huge pussy forever. Okay, it's not a surprise at all. That's what happens to pussies. Never seen any real life chemistry between them. I watch these types of podcasts to get entertainment because they're very entertaining. And I watched all of the Michael Sartain podcasts. It seems she's not attracted to him. Not only is she a plastic fucking bimbo with a low voice and terrible personality okay that shits all over him it seems she's not even attracted to him on top of it on top of disrespecting him even by looking at her i can tell she has a bad personality she never smiles and has no personality some average looking cheek chicks are more attractive than her as i said five or six max without makeup when she's not all fucking done up looking like a plastic retard Someone else said, anyone who's paid attention to what the Michael guy says can hopefully notice how little logic his arguments make. He's just like Rolo. They just fucking talk in circles and say nothing. It's all fucking nonsense. The guy can't make sense of any topic he talks about. When anyone challenges him in a debate or anything about, hey, uh, cold approach actually works. Like myself, I've fucked hundreds of girls from cold approach. Sartain says, oh, it doesn't work. It's 2% of the game. You can't fuck girls from cold approach unless you know the DJ. You're going to go to jail if you approach. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Fucking retard Mike. <laughs> So dumb too that you go, Michael. Mike doesn't know shit and he's just fucking spouting off nonsense. And, and that's all he does is ad hominem text. Oh, call the approach is creepy. Call the approach is creepy. Call the approach. No, those aren't good arguments and it's very effective. Someone else said, I've always thought Michael was a major simp. Yes. Dead on. Someone said, do a reaction to Sartain on the Millionaire Matchmaker back in 2014. I will. It'll be a separate video. Here's the episode description. The narcissist meets the inner geek. Patty's second millionaire is a 35-year-old Michael Sartain, who is a self-proclaimed geek at heart. <laughs> and a former captain in the Air Force, which he flexes constantly. Keep in mind, as it pertains to me fighting this stupid fuck, because he challenged me and I accepted, and you'll see how he ran away. Air Force people receive the least fucking combat training out of the whole military. Okay, I don't know if he trains martial arts or not. It won't matter. I'll still fucking demolish him. I've been training Krav Maga, Muay Thai, boxing, Machida Karate, wrestling, jujitsu, amongst other things, for almost a decade now. Okay, I'm six foot four, 220 pounds. He's six one, okay, AKA not even six foot, cause he's a fucking fraud liar, but, I don't give a shit. The dude's 46. Okay, I just turned 40. He looks haggard. I'll fucking wipe the floor with him. My conditioning is really good. My fighting skills are really good. I outperform. I have a reach advantage, right? So I immediately accept it. That's an easy fight for me. I fucking call out Zerka and Zerka's radio sound. Zerka's a lot bigger with a lot better skills. I'm not afraid to fight this little fucking pussy sartine. And I said, yes, this perfectly describes him. He owns a PR firm in Las Vegas. Oh, I thought he was a dating coach. Will Patty get Michael out of his inner geek so he can find his true soulmate? No, not a chance. Okay, Michael is getting fucking tooled and owned by Michael Jackson. Okay, the other, the other lovely <laughs> creature next to him that shit all over him. Oh, did you hear that one, Michael? Did you hear that one, Michael? And he's like, babe, what are you doing? Babe. And then later when called out, he's like, oh, well, 
Oh, I didn't even notice. It must have just been some big misunderstanding. And she's like, luckily he forgave me. <laughs> you guys are putting on a show for the camera and it's easy to spot a fake alpha tough guy a mile away because what they do in their playbook is like, what would the coolest guy ever do? Uh, the, uh, they wouldn't let the girl order her own food. Uh, they wouldn't let her look at a guy in public. Uh, they'd have a tracking device on, on her phone. They wouldn't be affected at all if they got shit on publicly on a podcast. <laughs> I said, perfectly describes him. Total geek, beta loser who fronts as a tough guy and his social circle nonsense is snake oil. Okay, here we are. Now we're going to get into the conversation. He then challenged me to a fight on his podcast with Roland Myron. So we're going to play this clip in case you guys haven't seen it. And after this clip, I'm going to show my conversation with him. That's where we're going to get to the DMs, I promised. And a conversation with Spencer Cornelia, who was the mediator between us in this conversation afterwards, since he's like, I can't speak to you directly because he's a pussy. So here we are. Let's watch. Yo, Michael, yeah, what please. are your thoughts on fat kid in Brazil? That's what we'll call him. Oh, Lord. Lights yeah. out to Okay, keep in mind, they always refer to me as a fat kid in Brazil. As you can see, I have visible abs. My body fat is lower than his. I'm in the best shape of my life, the best conditioning of my life, and the best fighting skills of my life. I am not afraid in the slightest of this stupid fuck, okay? He's afraid of me. Watch in these screenshots afterwards how he acts. And contrast that to his little fucking fake tough guy shit here in this clip. Yo, Michael, yeah, what please. are your thoughts on fat kid in Brazil? That's what we'll call him. Oh, Lord. Lifestyle yeah. today okay. in his video, he said he saw you in a Chipotle back in the day, and you pussied out when you saw him. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait, what because, just happened? Because this is... <laughs> Yeah, and that's a true story. He's like, oh, I don't remember that. I was with a bunch of my friends in Vegas when I lived in Vegas. I saw him come in. We're all pointing at him and laughing, okay? Because he's an embarrassment to himself. He's an embarrassment to the community. He's an embarrassment that he tries to front in all his little stupid black shirts that he's so cool. Oh, I, I, I was in the Air Force and oh, oh, I know Crystal Hefner and uh, oh, oh, I suck Rolo's cock behind the scenes and uh, uh, so I'm an expert. Sure, buddy. We just showed who you affiliate with. We just showed you're full of shit. We just showed you lie. We just showed your girl has zero respect for you and you're a huge fucking puss. Did you hear that one, Michael? And I'm gonna show in those screenshots in just a moment how he's running away and he, how he's trying to make excuses. I'll give you a spoiler alert. His first response when I said I accept the fight is, oh, we can do a debate. What kind of puss challenges a guy to a fight and when the guy accepts, he says, oh, well, let's debate instead. A true puss is the answer. Okay, let's watch this here. Because this is, this is obviously go. completely and totally absurd. I have seen this dude one time in my life mm -hmm and almost got him kicked out of excess with a dude in Brazil. You guys know who I'm talking about. And he thinks when he says dude in Brazil, that protects him legally when he goes on his little defamation sprees. Trust me when I say this, I've documented across lots of different videos. Okay, I have the exact quotes. Doesn't even matter if he deletes the videos or cuts those sections out now. I have them saved. They're up on Google Drive. We have a spreadsheet, video, date, title, link, timestamp, defamatory quote, just like I prepared for shithead Modern Life Dating back in 2021. I sent Modern Life Dating a cease and desist. He laughed at it and made fun of it online. I sent him a letter of intent to sue. He laughed at it and made fun of it online. And then I sued him for over a million dollars. And he's been trying to run away for over three years. I already want a default against Modern Life Dating's company, Masculine Empowerment Network. And I'm going to fucking bury him in court very soon. And I'm also going to win in Japan very soon. And now we've got the same sheet for Mr. Michael. Pussy ass Michael. Now watch this. I have asked Spencer Cornelia to message him and say, I will debate him, but it's only going to be in fucking person. And he's the one who said he wouldn't do it. Look at how haggard he looks here. And I told Myron, I'll put up $10,000 and he can put up $100. He's going to put up 10,000 and I can put up 100. Note how he says that he'll put up 10,000 and that I can put up 100. Okay, in my message that I will show the screenshot of, I said, no, I'll match the 10,000. I'm a multimillionaire. I don't give a fuck about 10,000. When I challenged pussy ass Danny Mullen, which we can show the screenshot of that video, I said, okay, when he was saying, oh, me and my whole crew could beat you in cold approach, I said, I'll wager each of you between 10K and 100K for each of the five of you, which means if all of you accept the lowest, that's 50K on the line. If all of you accept the highest, that's 500K on the line, half a million. It's easy money for me. I'm the best fucking guy in the game with the most confirmed results. Okay, it's not my opinion. That's objective facts. You want to challenge me in the game? Okay, I accept. And then Danny Mullen went radio silent because he's a pussy. Fresh and fit challenged fucking preach to a boxing match. He said, I accept. I'll fight one of you than the other. They went radio silent and then they went on their community post and like, oh, we don't want any, any drama or trouble. Blah, blah. Take note of how pussies act. There's a huge difference between an internet tough guy, as we're going to see here with Michael, and someone who actually has a set of balls like myself. Okay, let's watch what he says here. And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. He'll fight me fucking tomorrow. And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. Let's see how that stands up in the screenshots. 
Because you're going to see how he's making excuse after excuse after excuse, running away with his tail between his legs to his little plastic Michael Jackson bitch cunt girlfriend. I'll put up $10,000 and he can put up $100 and I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. Keep in mind, recorded for the whole internet to see, oh, I'll fight him fucking tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I accept it immediately. And all we see is excuses. We're gonna show those in the screenshots. Oh, shit. If you wanna do this, I'm ser serious right now. I have a feeling that if I took on this, uh, like, you know, obviously he needs to get a blood test before we do it, because you see the stuff he does in Brazil there. Now he's trying to imply I have AIDS, okay? He brought up the same point on DMs, which I'll show in the screenshots. And I immediately sent him a clean HIV test. Immediately, right? That was his first time to stall. Oh, I'm gonna need to see an HIV test. I sent it to him immediately, and then he went radio silent. Watch, we're gonna show those screenshots in just a moment. I will fight this dude because I think everyone in this community would cheer me on Hell yeah, for bro. beating the living crap out of this incredibly- He thinks he's gonna beat the living crap out of me. As I said, I'm six foot four, 220. I tower over him. I have a big reach advantage. I've been training extensively in martial arts for almost a decade, okay? And I'm a very good master of skill games. This dude probably wouldn't even do any damage on me. I would walk away laughing and he would be knocked out on the fucking mat. But on camera, oh, I'll fight him tomorrow. I'll, I'll wager 10,000. I'll beat the living crap out of him. Uh, he's useless. Watch. Useless human being who <laughs> suffers from antisocial personality disorder. He suffers from antisocial personality disorder. He's tried to call me mentally ill. One of the classic items of defamation is you can't make a statement about someone's mental condition saying that they're mentally unwell or mentally ill. He said that on the Max Tornov interview. Look at how haggard he looks. It's fucking sad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the dude's fucking totally washed up. Never was anybody, but he's been trying to front and act like the cool guy for over a decade. We just saw in that comment for the Millionaire Matchmaker that he's a fucking self-proclaimed inner geek. He's not the cool guy. Hanging out with all the biggest scumbags of the manosphere and wearing the same black shirt every day does not make him cool. We saw his true colors when the girls shit all over him. Babe. We're gonna see more of his true colors when he goes running away like a scared fucking pussy ass bitch. We're almost to those screenshots. Okay, hold on tight. I didn't say his name, so we can't say anything about it. He is- I didn't say his name, so that protects me legally. Newsflash, already spoke to multiple lawyers. It does not protect you. And even says everyone knows who we're talking about. Everyone knows who we're talking about. They do, that's right. And so the defamation stands. That's how these guys fucking, look at him here. <laughs> that's how he's gonna look after I fucking deliver a huge blow to his face. <laughs> And I hope we get to do a kickboxing match too, so he can get some elbows and knees. <laughs> his fucking angry beaver head. I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not gonna, he didn't do the work to build a brand, so I'm mm. not gonna build it. Yeah, he didn't do the work to build a brand. He's only the best guy in the community with the best results, okay? I have more testimonials for the record than the whole rest of the space combined. He didn't do the work to it. Shut the fuck up, okay? You, you host every fucking scammer in the space. You have a system that's complete garbage, that doesn't work, okay? You have a course that's trash. You have students that are not fucking getting any better because you're a huge fucking loser peddling snake oil with a business partner who's also full of shit hanging out with fresh and fit and modern life dating and jay waller who are all also full of shit and zirka and sneeko and adam lyons all of you fucking suck and i call all of you out by name and look what happens oh i'll, I'll fight him tomorrow watch for the screenshots and we're almost there well this brand for him but i will beat the crap out of him and i will beat the crap out of him yeah, we'll see. Any ring he chooses at any time, and I am- Anywhere he chooses at any time. Now keep in mind when you see the screenshots. In this video here, he's saying, I'll fight him tomorrow. I'll fight him anywhere he chooses, anytime he wants. I immediately accepted. I DM'd him on Instagram. I messaged Spencer, who passed the messages on, and he told me Michael's responses, which we're gonna look at in a moment here. I know you've all been patiently waiting. And I put on my YouTube community post, and I'm fucking accepting again here publicly. I've, I've accepted all over. He knows we've been in communication. He knows I'm accepting. Suddenly his tune has changed. Now he's making excuse after excuse after excuse. He's talking, oh, let's just do a debate because he's a huge fucking pussy. He's a fake tough guy. There's so many examples of it and I'm going to make so many more videos showing you guys and he's going to fucking lose his shit because he's a sitting duck. There's so much fucking ammo. I have like 10 videos ready. <laughs> Not made yet, but I've like 10 video topics. Just watch these videos that are come out over the weeks. This guy is such a fucking puss. 46 years old. I will do it uh, anytime he wants. So if he wants- I'm 46 years old anytime he wants until he accepts. And and, and, and then we, we can't do it. So okay, if he wants to yeah. say this, if he wants to say this, that's fine. Uh, but, but watch, I have put the gauntlet out. He will not respond. I've put the gauntlet out. He will not respond. I did respond. I'm responding now. I responded to him in DMs. I responded to him through Spencer. I responded to him on the community post. He knows I've accepted. That's 
certifiably public knowledge now. And now where's all the tough talk? It's gone. And I hope fucking Abba and Preach or Filion or one of these people, even Penguins, fucking picks up this topic up and shows, blasts the whole internet. I'll send it to all of them, actually. I'll send them this video so that everybody can see Mr. Tough Guy Commander who's actually just a huge fucking puss. That's it. He's full of talk because he's sitting next to Jake Shields, who's also a piece of shit. I'm gonna do a video on that. Okay, he had the cops after him <laughs> like six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> all these motherfuckers are all pieces of shit. They're all gonna keep getting relentlessly exposed. He even has Rich Dad Poor Dad on the fucking back shelf by Robert Kiyosaki, who's in a fucking picture with Rolo and Fresh. And that motherfucker's been exposed countless times for being a scammer as well. The whole thing is a fucking cesspool of toxic shit. Now let's get into those screenshots that you've all been waiting for. But I want you to remember, he said anytime, any place, he won't accept, he won't respond, he won't say shit. I do accept. I do respond. I won't even just put up 100. I'll put up the 10K, dummy. And let's fucking do it. Let's make it happen. The internet wants it. Okay, he can't even say my name. <laughs> let alone agree to a date, okay? He's just gonna make excuses and run away now because he's a huge puss. Okay, now let's go look at the screenshots. Okay, now here's the moment you've all been waiting for. I accept the fight and he runs away like a huge pussy. Okay, look at my message to him. Hey, big pussy who can't say my name, who dates a plastic Michael Jackson looking troll with a busted face and low voice, probably from fucking testosterone use to try to keep her little plastic figure all in check. Those bolt-on shitty boobs. I said, <laughs> way to issue a fight challenge. Any ring he chooses at any time. I said, I accept your fight challenge. 10K wager accepted too. I'll match it. Let's set up the details, punk. It's going to be fun demolishing you in front of everyone. Let's see if Mr. Pussy backs up his talk. I've been training martial arts for almost a decade now, and I'm six foot four, 220. And some people, when I put that in the community post, are like, why are you telling your martial arts experience? I don't fucking care. I've said it countless times on my YouTube channel, all the different stuff I train in. I don't care if he's trained or not. I don't care if he's trained longer than me. I'll still fucking wreck him. I have a reach advantage, a size advantage, fighting skill advantage, and I'm not a pussy. I'll actually go and fucking knock him out and try my best. I said to Spencer, okay, Spencer Cornelia, who's another YouTuber. He's friends with Michael Sartain. He's friends with me. I said, Sartain is challenging me to a fight and I accept. He still can't say my name because he's a pussy. He's a big pussy. Give me his WhatsApp so I can talk to him man to man. Spencer said, oh, I like this. I think you two should get on a live together. Again, fuck a live. He's calling me out like a man. <laughs> we need heavy quotes there. Like a puss. I accept. Okay, and watch. I go, what's his WhatsApp? He says, I'm confirming with him that it's fine to send you his, to send his number. I'll get back to ASB. His response, nope, I'm not getting my number, but we can debate. We can debate. Oh, how lovely. First of all, there's nothing to debate with this fucking retard. Okay, and when he's in debates, all he does is just fucking run in circles. Oh, cold approach is creepy. You'll go to jail. Blah, blah. All nonsense. He's an embarrassment. When he, he makes zero logical points, he just embarrasses the fuck out of himself in any debate he enters. And again, this is besides the point. Who calls out someone, first of all, not even saying their name, saying, hey, fat kid in Brazil. We showed my abs. I'm not fat at all. I'm better shaped than him. And then when I accept, he says, well, we can debate in person. I'm not going to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. What? We can debate or meet in person. He doesn't need my number. Yes, I do. Cause we need to talk man to man. Okay. Either through fucking WhatsApp or through fucking Instagram. And then I showed the fucking screenshot that I sent him on Instagram. And I said, tell him to respond on IG, which he didn't. So then I went to YouTube and I made a community post and I posted these exact three screenshots here along with my physique pictures. And I said, here you go, YouTube. I've accepted. I at tagged him, which puts a notification right onto his phone. <laughs> I said, Michael Sartain, the fight is accepted. And I showed, look, he's not responding. So to try and save face, he goes and look at his little fucking tactic. He goes and responds to Instagram, but look at how he's dodging and making excuses and being a huge pussy again. <laughs> Watch. I accept the fight. Sounds good, John. Came and spelled my name right. But you're going to need to get an HIV test first. I said, all clean, buddy. Keep defaming online. We have plenty of ammo documented for a lawsuit because he said so many fucking lies about me. Again, a lot of you don't understand defamation. You can say this guy sucks. This guy's a dork. This guy's a pussy. This guy has bad ideas. You can say all that. That's called opinions. You can't say, oh, the, oh the, he's, in, he's in bed in this video with four tranny. It's false. It's made up. Oh, he's in bed with six tranny. Now it's six. Oh, next week it'll be, I'm in bed with 15 trannies. Okay. And I'm going to be sending a legal letter separately because he needs to be stopped from defaming me. Okay. That's already been in the process for weeks. So that's nothing new here. That's not, has nothing to do with this fight request. I need to see a test, he says. <laughs> and Spencer needs to verify everything first. Also, you're threatening legal action, so I'm not communicating with you directly anymore. Convenient fucking bitch-ass cop-out excuse. 
Okay? He has nothing to fear communicating with me, you know, in the event that I will sue him over defamation. I said, maybe you shouldn't make false statements of fact then, Captain Pussy. That's called defamation. So I already have a whole bunch documented. Then he fucking like hid his Instagram so I can't see any of it. And he hasn't seen these messages, right? So he's just like removing himself from the situation. He's probably scared because I told him I have a whole bunch documented. So now he can't go delete and remove clips. Then he goes radio silent. I sent the fucking HIV test and... I sent it to Spencer who forwarded it to him. Okay, as you see here, HIV one and two, and this is a small screenshot, but it says in Brazilian or in Portuguese, uh, non-reactive. Plus I take PrEP, which prevents HIV. Plus it's fucking stupid. The odds are like one in 1,250 of catching it. If you fuck a girl with HIV unprotected vaginally. Okay, again, this is, is this what a guy, is this what a guy that's challenging? Oh, I'll fight him now. I'll fight him tomorrow. I'll fight him anytime, any place. And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna need to see a HIV test. I sent him it immediately. I have recent tests. I immediately sent it. Like the time went here was like three or four minutes. And I sent it to Spencer right away. Okay, this was uh, over 24 hours ago. Said, so there's my clean HIV report, pussy boy. Let's set up a date to embarrass you badly on the internet, which is exactly what'll happen. Later on, I follow up with Spencer. What's the next steps to make this fight happen? I provided clean HIV results immediately. And again, that's such a dumb condition, but I'm playing along so that we can see what other excuses he has. He says we have to set it through you because he's a pussy. Okay, Spencer says, I don't know, would you come out here to Vegas for it? I show the screenshots. I said, he's stalling and being a puss as usual. He said, he said he has to be shown the HIV test, which I showed and sent to you immediately. He says to plan this through you. Sure, we can do it in Vegas. I don't give a fuck where we do this. I said, hit him up, ask what date he can do, watch him give more pussy excuses. On the Fresh and Fit show, when he was Mr. Fake Tough Guy, he said he would fight me tomorrow, anytime, any place. He won't respond. And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow any ring he chooses at any time now when i accept he suddenly wants to debate like come on are you guys seeing this please tell me you're seeing this please tell me you're seeing babe babe punked by michael jackson's fucking son <laughs> punked by a girl whose fucking boobs are separated you could put your whole fucking hand in there that's a shitty fucking boob job and it looks like shit. I, those kind of boobs suck. She can push them together in a bra to show some cleavage. Be like, did you hear that one, Michael? He's gonna be like, beep, beep, beep. Doesn't make her pretty. Did you hear that one, Michael? I said, now when I accept the fight, suddenly he wants to debate me. No one ever fucking spoke about a debate. This is about a fight. You don't challenge someone to a fight. When they respond, you say, oh, that's debate. He's running away with excuses like the puss that he is. Spencer says that he was at a boxing class and his coach said he'd referee. So we have a location. I said, perfect. What did Michael say? Just texted him. The HIV excuse is just pure stalling. Total moron. Okay. And he goes, well, to be fair, you've been with enough women where the odds make greater than zero. I said, come on, don't feed into that nonsense. The odds are one in 1,250 through raw vaginal if the girl has HIV, which most don't. And I take prep, which prevents catching it. Anyways, I showed instantly that I'm clean. So there goes that stall attempt. Okay. Now more information. This is coming from Michael to Spencer. He said it would need to be a few months due to events coming up. What? And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. <laughs> Then when I immediately accept, oh, he won't respond. I put out the gauntlet. I, I won't say his name because I'm a puss. I respond immediately. I respond publicly. I respond to him. He knows I've accepted. Oh, we'll need a bunch of time because there's events coming up and uh, hopefully everybody forgets about it by then. And maybe he's going to go try to do a training camp or some shit with some fucking UFC. Well, I don't let him do that. I don't fucking care. I said, what date? That's a dumb excuse too. Again, why would any events coming up preclude him from getting into a ring and fighting? It'll be like fucking, you know, like, like a few shows short rounds, maybe five max. Anyone has time for that. He's making up pussy excuses. If you think that's a valid excuse, you're a fucking retard. I said, that's a dumb excuse. When he was pretending to be a tough guy, he said, I'll fight you tomorrow. Spencer said, maybe revisit in a couple months. I don't see any upside for him fighting. So I don't see this happening. I go, Spencer, why do you keep talking like that? Do you not understand that he challenged me? It's exactly what happened when Fresh and Fit challenged Abba and Preach. And Preach was like, sure, I accept. I'll fight one of you and the other. And he DM'd them. They went radio silent. And then they went on their community posts like huge pussies. True color fucking huge pussies. Frank Castle is a tough motherfucker on the internet. When he's kicking off ghetto hood rats, he's propositioning with sex to come on his show. As we saw in the Anna Quinn situation. Oh yeah, you can come speak on my podcast if we're dating. Uh, if you have sex with me, right? And then he goes on. And he's like, ah, my lay count is, but your lay count is padded through ghetto hood rat trash. 
Hyundai from Authentic Alphas, who's also a huge fucking dork, said he's never seen you successfully cold approach even one time. He said Myron has no girls. Girls hate him and he hates girls too. And he works all the time and him and Walter play video games and they're two huge fucking nerds. Oh, Frank Castle, the Punisher. They've got all this fucking graphics and shirts about the Punisher. Get the fuck out of here. When Preach was like, I'll fight you, radio silent. And then they won the community tab and they're like, well, we don't want any beef and we don't want any You guys challenged Preach, he accepted. You went silent. It's clear who the pussies are. Danny Mullen challenged me. I said, I accept with you and the four friends from the challenge. And some of the kids were like 19 in his crew. I go 10K to 100K each, literally 100K. I, and I'm good for it. I would put up $500,000. It's easy money. Some 19 year old or, or Danny fucking retard Mullen who looks like emo fucking Kurt Cobain. Those dumb fucks and, and his creepy co-host Leo who, who was like in trouble for like some sexual scandal. These guys are all fucking pussies. And they, they all went radio silent. And Danny Mullen tried to like save face and he's like, oh, I respond. He never responded. I showed the DM, there was no response. He never responded. Sartain will try, probably try to twist this some way too. And be like, yeah, yeah, uh, later we'll do this. So uh, when my event, shut the fuck up. You said tomorrow. You said anytime, any place. And I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. <laughs> I accepted. Therefore, you're a pussy. I said, do you not understand that he challenged me? He called me out on fresh and fit, said I wouldn't accept to respond. I'm accepting and responding. And now he's making countless excuses. Why or what needs to be an upside for him? What, why does that have anything to do with it? This is about a total pussy trying to be an internet tough guy and getting called on his bluff. Ask him point blank that I want a date since he can't speak to me directly, okay, in quotes. Oh, I can't, I can't say his name. Uh, I can't speak to him directly like a man. Excuse after excuse after excuse. And Spencer, who's friends with him, said sounds like there will always be an excuse. Now I waited some hours after this because Sartain was responding right away to him. And I said, ask him point blank, what date? And I checked before I recorded this, nothing. He's like, oh, he hasn't responded because he's a fucking pussy. Please understand. Let's watch how tough he was when he was on the fucking show. Let's watch. Yo, Michael, yeah, what please. are your thoughts on Fat Kid in Brazil? That's what we'll call him. Oh, Lord. Lifestyle yeah. today yeah. in his video, he said he saw you in a Chipotle back in the day and you pussied out when you saw him. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait, what because, just happened? Because this is... Okay, because okay. This is so I'll fight him anytime, anyplace. Uh, 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 I'll fight him tomorrow. Uh, but when he accepts, uh, I'm going to make excuse after excuse. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. This is obviously go. completely and totally absurd. I have seen this dude one time in my life mm. and almost got him kicked out of excess with a dude in Brazil. You guys know who I'm talking about. I have asked Spencer Cornelia to message him and say, I will debate him, but it's only going to be in fucking person. And he's the debate him. The one who said he wouldn't do it. And I told Myron, I'll put up $10,000 and he can put up $100 and I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. No, you won't. I will fight him fucking tomorrow. You guys think I'm cool now? No, no one thinks you're cool. We saw how you act in the screenshots. Pussy. We saw how you acted on the show. Babe. Pussy. We saw that you're hanging out with rapists and fucking guys that are preying on men and guys that are fucking smashing bottles over girls' faces. Guys that are running business scams. Guys that are fucking cleaning guys out and making them miserable. And you're part of that. Not only are you fucking endorsing them and being buddies with all them, but you're peddling snake oil fucking bullshit social circle nonsense and inside you're a self-proclaimed inner geek by your own admission and you're a huge fucking pussy and everyone can see it now it's fucking obvious let's look at the last fucking slide here okay in conclusion mr pussy is showing his true colors yet again did you hear it that time michael let's let's sound like the girl did you hear that one michael right and then he's like And then later, oh, I didn't even realize, I had no idea what was going on. He has selective amnesia. He probably doesn't remember that he challenged me to a fight and said he'd fight me tomorrow and anytime, any place either, right? Fucking pussy. Expect a lot of videos to come. I have a whole fucking list. There's so much ammo to rip this guy up. If you have clips, and there's plenty of them that make this guy look like a retard, send them to me at john at johnantinlifestyle.com. If you want to leverage my years in the game of 20 years optimizing the best system in the game, where we have 1,250 testimonials, okay, of getting guys extremely good, extremely fast with girls, book a free dating strategy call with the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Watch my video on the end screen where we show him on the Whatever Podcast getting fucking totally punked like a bitch by his Michael Jackson girl. Thank you guys so much. Lots of good stuff to come and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. P.S.
to Michael. I know you're gonna fucking watch this. Accept the fight. Accept that you're gonna get fucking knocked out and just let it happen. Cause this is a lose-lose for you. You've created this situation. You're either gonna run scared for months, maybe try to do a fighting camp, okay, under some fucking UFC retard in Vegas, or you're just gonna fucking come and accept and get knocked out and laughed at then. Okay, so you're getting laughed at either way. Your choice. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed trauma factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.